Okay. We just talked about paths. Now we're ready to talk about text along path. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just open up a new layer here. I'll go with transparency on top of this path image we've already started. And we'll just start a new path. We're in design. We'll go into regular mode, not polygonal mode. And we'll just start by clicking a few points. Same the way we started last time. And just kind of even them out a bit. Looks pretty good. Okay. I'll just shape this. Just create a curve or a bend. Okay. So now we have our path. We'll go up here to the dialogs box. And here's our path that we're on. And we'll turn that eye on. We'll be able to see our path. We'll go back to the layers. Make sure we're on our new layer. And we'll go to our text. Choose whatever font you want, and size, of course. And Color can come in later. You don't need to worry about the color right now. And now we'll just start typing whatever we want to fit on that path. Now, when you're creating your path, keep in mind what you want to your text to be to follow it. Make sure your path is long enough. If your path is not long enough for your text, it kind of doesn't realize what to do when it gets to the end and it just kind of jumps around and does whatever it wants then. It doesn't know how to finish the text. It doesn't know to kind of continue in the same direction. Path ends and then it just starts pushing your text out into a different direction. It doesn't know what to do with it. it brings it back to like a start point or something. So just make sure your path is long enough for the text you'll be putting in. So we'll just start typing. This is a video for GimpCore. Showing text along paths. Okay. So we look here. We know we're going to have some bends and curves and it's going to go up and down. That might fit on there and it might not. What you can do, if you're not really sure, is you can just come down here and where this A, B section is down here in your text area, this is the spacing of your text. So if you look here, how many spaces there are, how, how long your space is between the, your letters, you can actually take that into a negative or take it down some, and it gets a little, becomes a little closer. Your text becomes a little closer. If you look at the text while I'm doing that, see there it's a little further away. Now it's a little closer. So now I'm quite sure that this text will fit along this path. Okay. So we will just simply come down and click text along path.
now you see it's created and put our text along the path and our path was long enough for our text so we can come up here and highlight this text section and we can come to this garbage can and delete that okay and that deletes the text we just did we'll just pick a different tool just to get rid of that box but we still have this and that we can find up here so this is here now with this dialog box in the we still have this path selected with our text along the path we simply click on that do a right click and we'll come down to path to selection and click on that and then we'll get the marching ants or the dancing lines sometimes it takes a little bit of time but they'll come All right, there we are. So now we have our text along path more or less alpha selected. Okay. So we can grab a paintbrush and just click one that click on a size that's big enough to cover it. Whoa. We can bring this up quite a bit. And we'll just brush along our path here. And I'll do that again. Just simply because it's hard to tell. Make sure I have everything filled in. Okay. Now, click off this tool again. And I'll undo the eye for the path. So we'll get rid of this line going through the center of it. And we'll click on this path and have that. We'll take that eye off for the text along the path there. Go back to our layers. We're still on our new layer. And we'll go up here to select. And we'll select none. And that'll get rid of those dancing lines or the marching ants. And now you can see we just did our text along path. Just as simple as that. One thing we still need to talk about, we'll go back to our pass tool. We still need to talk about the edit and the move and how those work. So we can go back up. To our paths dialog box, and we can select one of these paths. Why don't we take this path here, the first one we were doing? We click that eye on, and you see the line show up in between in our uh, path right there. And we can go to edit, and now we click on that, and the nodes come back. And as you can see. We have an empty one or a clear one. And we have solid ones, just like before. So if we wanted to edit this, we can click on this, and now that's a hollow one. So as we know, we can click on that and drag it, and manipulate it. And you see, it still recognizes this as a polygonal, and it still realizes this is a regular path line that can curve and bend. And we can edit these however we want, just like when we left them the last time. We can click on shift and open that one up. Click on shift and open this one up. And now we'll be able to move all three of these however we would like.
you go into the move when you click on when you're in the move edit mode and you click on this when you click on it it doesn't matter what the node's value is whether it's solid or empty filled or cleared you'll move the whole path without edit just more or less moving that path in any place you want any direction okay I believe that's pretty much it on the pass now well, I think we've talked about just about all the basics on paths. Hope this helped you to learn about paths and text along paths. Okay.